Michael Beale, his first game. It's not his first visit, though, to the Stadium of Light. Blackpool, wasn't it? Was it Blackpool? He, he was. Back. Michael yeah. Beale was here with QPR. QPR as well. Oh, QPR one, yeah. Um, yeah, tracksuit manager, isn't he? Sometimes I think. What do you go? Do you go suit or full tracksuit? He's a tracksuit manager. Yeah, just looking at Coventry there. Looks like Hadjivite's going to be out on this left-hand side and O'Hare just in behind Ellis Sims in the in the ten roll. We're in the number ten. Here come Coventry City, popping the ball through. Possible early chance. Something to deal with it. It's Job. Gives it back to Pierre Equart. So then passing it on the far side. Playing themselves out of problems. Yeah, it's done well there, Joe. And Neil just couldn't get on the end of it. It's pestering. How'd you write who comes away with it? And the referee's yeah, giving it's just free kick. Back. I think it was Dan Neil just a little bit tight on. How'd you write? I'm going to nibble at him. Free kick on the other side. Yeah, so I think called 4 2 3 1. I think it's Sheaf and, uh, and Allen just a little bit deeper with O'Hare ahead of them. Yeah, a little bit whistle happy there. The ref, I think, could have played an advantage. Sunderland trying to get the ball moving, switch it. Luke does, lovely switch. Here's Jack Clark, pops one across. Oh, do you know what? Little little dink ball. See Patrick Roberts at the at the far post. The fullback Bidwell's gone narrow. I think it's Dan Neal that's made the box. And we'll see it on the replay. But two v one overload at the far post. And just over hits the cross there, Jack Clark. Michael Proctor and, of course, Mike Dodds still present on the bench as coaches under Michael Beal. It's all part of the deal. Stopped on the far side. Trey Hume. Yeah, good from Trey Hume. Read it well up down that touch line. And so it was interesting, isn't it, with both Hume and Huggins in the in the side. We're not sure who's going to line up at left back or right back, but they get on with their jobs wherever they play and both enjoying their football, I think, at this moment in time. Get forward every opportunity. Sims. Gives it the way to Trey Hume. He's all teammate. He's right. Still going, Hadji right. Lays off to Ellis Sims, who's inside the area. Luke on nine gets across, but concedes the corner. Yeah, just got to be careful. That was a little clip pass into Dan Neal. Difficult one for him to deal with, really. And the, it's Hadji right who, who nicks it on the counter attack. That's what they'll be looking for, their game plan. I think Coventry sit in and then pounce on any, any loose pass from ourselves. Sakamoto. It's a very deep cross. Yeah, see what he's looking for. Bidwell just trying to hang it up to that far post area. Fraction too much on it, though. Sometimes those hold up in the air, don't they? Drop in a dangerous area. Thankfully for Sunderland, that went too far. This from Trey Hume gives Coventry possession. Job gets it back though for Sunderland. Jack Clark. Ah, switches on. A lot of space out on this right hand uh, side. Dullabar did really well there to win it straight back for Sunderland. Oh. Here's Patrick Roberts twisting and turning. 
still got it against Bidwell. Good noise from the fans today as well. Yeah, they've been good boys, aren't they, Danny? Many of them may have broke up for work yesterday. Start the first day of the Christmas holiday break for them. Free just wants a word with one of the Coventry City players here. Not really sure what there was to protest against there from Liam Kitching. You know, he's seen that rubbing his nose. Not sure if there was a coming together off the ball, maybe. Giving a bit back to the ref, isn't he? Fighting his corner. Ben Chief, the captain there as well. He's Huggins. Daniel. Pierre Equa. It's a lovely ball, oh, but yeah. just too much on it. Difficult one. He's got to thread it with a little bit of pace on it between the two Coventry players, and she just runs out of play there, looking for Patrick in behind. Mark Robbins. It's got to be one of the longest serving yeah, managers in the division, or certainly maybe the a, Football League. Done a good job here at Coventry. Sims flicks it on. Wright picks it up. Good challenge from 09. Who comes out with the ball? Here's Roberts. Inside to Abdullah Bar. Roberts. Dan Neal. Bar. Roberts twisting and turning, gives it to Huggins, who's there in support. Huggins delivers. Comes back to him. Equa. Yeah, Patrick just thinks that Niall Huggins has made the run in behind him. A little flick into his path, but he's not. Again, busy down this right-hand side, Sunderland. Link-up plays. Good, and then fizz ball in front from Niall Huggins, cut out the near post. Just see Abdullah Bar coming out of that central roll over to this right-hand side, trying to get involved, like, pretty much like we've seen from Ahmad, wasn't it, when, when he was at the club playing in the middle there, linking the play up with Patrick. Huggins is looking for an option yeah, from this too throw. tight, yeah, they're, they're two, three yards away from him. He needs, needs someone stretching it for him. That's well played by Sunderland. Have you made of the early possession here, Dan? Yeah, no good, the lads are popping it round, aren't they? As we usually see here at the stadium, like confidence and working the ball well up the pitch. Here's Jack Clark on the far side, trying to get past Sakamoto. I think he was pulled a bit there, and he's gone down as well. He gets a free yeah, kick. Good, yeah. Well, he's busy, Sakamoto. I watched the game a couple of weeks ago on the, on the telly when he was playing. He's lively, he'll get up and down the pitch and just trying to help his, his full-back Van Uyck out there, isn't he? he actually does yeah, I thought well there was a foul in now. Let's have a pulling look. Him back yeah. there. He's got a bit of his shirt there and then he, he comes out with the ball, doesn't he? And then, yeah, Jack goes down. And free kick in a decent area, isn't it, on that touchline? Yeah, no Pritchard this afternoon, he's not in the squad, so let's hope he comes back soon. Alex Pritchard, normally on these set pieces. Yeah, his delivery's been decent as well in recent weeks, he's had a few assists, hasn't he, since he got himself back into the team. It's a low one, Ballard flicks it through, Bar, Equa thinks about the shot, floats one in, takes a deflection, goes for the corner. The ball, yeah. Yeah, strange one, something they worked off, but Jack plays it in low, doesn't he? And as it's fit back, maybe could have been set back a little bit better for, for Pierre Equa to come onto it, hit it first time. Roberts. Kept alive. 
Referee says oh, yeah, offside, was it? No, well, mm. Flag stayed down unless unless the linesman told him on his headset. I'm not sure the flag didn't go up. I'm not sure. Strange one. I think it was it, was it Luke O'Nine or Trey Hume at the far post who headed it back across. You see Coventry uh, used to playing out from the back, aren't they? But we're pressing him high, inviting it, and well, Coventry try and play through us. He's Equa. Daniel. It's a back of Roberts. Well, Callum O'Hare got involved and got the ball initially. Someone to have a back though. Huggins goes back to Anthony Patterson. That's yeah, good play. We've actually wriggled out some tight areas quite well, haven't we, so far, especially down this right-hand side below us. Oh, pump forward, looking for Job, who's stretching to try and get there. Oh, it took a touch there. Oh. Yeah, it's stayed it in. in as well. Do you know what? I think the other lads have given up on it there. Let's have a look at this. Daniel. Stretching again. Goes out wide to Jack Clark. Great persistence from Job there to keep it alive for Sunderland, but country cleaver for now looking for Ellis Sims yeah that's what I was going to say actually Joe doesn't give up on it does he gets to the byline I think it was going to be a corner anyway it took a nick off the defender I think do you it was think he Thomas. should have let it go for the corner but then the other lads have got have anticipated almost yeah. yeah nobody's got up there and gambled that Joe's going to get a toe on it and poke it back across into the box you see it back now so it takes a nick off the defender there he could have let it run out for a corner yet but then he's poked it in you've got Abdullah Bar edge of the box now the keeper thought it went out as well, so he stopped as well as he's much as anyone for it. it would yeah. have been a corner, yeah. Bradley Collins preferred to Ben Wilson this season. Yes, the commentary are trying to play out, aren't they? They're getting almost up to that sort of mid-third, really, and they keep either getting caught on it or we're, we're pressing and taking it off them. Well, Sunderland haven't beaten Coventry for a number of seasons. A certain gentleman was in the side that afternoon. Sunderland last one against Coventry City. Can you think who it is, Danny Collins? That'll possibly be me, yeah, would you, it, if you mentioned you it? You didn't yeah. even get subbed off in that one. <laughs> you the full game. <laughs> I can't remember it, if you're going to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight York scored. That's 1-0 win, clean sheet as well. Equap heads it forward, looking for Roberts. Oh, that went out. I think so far, 14 minutes gone, we've we've had the line share of possession, haven't we? Dominated the ball a lot of the time, played some good link-up play, but as of yet, haven't worked the goalkeeper. Job. Yeah, I see Job there coming yeah. in, coming in the middle of the pitch, wasn't he? Looking for a pass. There was one or two on, tries to thread it into Abdullah Bar. Job. Clark's back there. Yeah, he's made, he's made one run earlier in, in behind well, a couple, actually, the one when he got to the, to the ball on the byline as well, Joe, but, he's, but it is Abdullah Bar, actually, who's playing a little bit more advanced of him, I'd say. Direct ball from Dan Ballard. Where's this one going to drop? The keeper's come out. He's there. He can only header. Yeah, he's done well, the goalkeeper. Good starting position, wasn't it? And, and deals with the situation well. Someone seemed to be able to get the ball back quite easily this yeah, afternoon. Yeah, they so can't far. stick it. I say they're trying to play out from the back and then they give it us back or we've nicked it off them. <laughs> but 
but you see there, it's mixing it up, wasn't it? I think it was Dan Ballard, wasn't it? Clipped the ball, both Jack Clark and Abdullah Bar making the running behind. Dre Hume, Jack Clark, Job's there. Bobby Thomas comes across. Hogan's O'Hare dashing past right, tries to return it. Sullins once again get it back yeah, quite easily. There. That's promising, isn't it? On the counter attacks for for Coventry there, and Rice sloppy, isn't it? A little five yard ball just gives it straight back to Sunderland. Mark Robbins won't be happy with that. Says so one of those changes he brought into the starting eleven as well today. Equal. Looking for Bath, too much on it. Yeah, just having a look up as well now. Trey Hume saying to him, give it out to Jack Clark. The play was out there. Trey Hume was on his bike, he was going. It was a 2v1 situation and tries the big reverse switch. Pierre Equa puts it out of play. Cleared by Collins under pressure. Again, someone easily take possession back. Ballard with one of his big marauding runs finds Job on the end of it. Bar. Job. Looking for Dan Neal in the middle. Comes out to Hadji Wright. Can Coventry get out of this? They've got well, the men over as well. Minute. Yep. Wright holding on to it. Gives it back to Callum O'Hare, who's inside the area, puts it across, it goes all the way across. Did well. This is Thomas. And Newick gives him it back. And again. Well, first spell of possession for, for Coventry, isn't it? Yeah, almost 20 minutes far. into the game. Yeah. It's gone out on the far side for a throw. Yeah, there's a few arms gone up there. It took a deflection, gone out on the far side, but the Coventry lads wanted the, the throw in. But that situation a minute ago, that's what they'll have worked on in the week, I'm sure. Coventry, they'll know we're all about possession and they'll have seen a few of the goals we've conceded this season where we've got good possession of the ball. We're a little bit short at the back and they had an opportunity. Was it 4v3 at one stage there? Maybe didn't move the ball quick enough. Decision-making on the counter-attack. Oh, that looked like a foul on Abdullah Bar. Not enough for the referee. O'Hare trying to pop it through. Equa comes out with it. Dan Neal. Roberts. Couldn't take full possession. Yeah, similar Deep. to ourselves there. They've got five, six players out of the game, Coventry, and that's where we've got to be better than on the counter-attack. So Trey Hume has stole it in that manner and then given it away, but Jack Clark has another dash. Clark! Slow strike. Oh! oh. Well, he's onside as well. As it drops down, I think the left centre back, Kitchen's playing him on. I'm not sure why he goes with the power and the pace on it. It opens up for Jack Clark, comes in off that left hand side. Good strike, puts his laces to it. Keep the parries it down and then. Oh, just put it either side of him, can't he? Keeper's almost done. And Abdullah Bar, he knows. Just that little bit of composure letting him down there. Huge, huge chance. Best of the game. But one fan below us on the on the steps there, showing us how it should have been done. <laughs> He's up again. 
But what did he need to do? Just a little well, bit of power. I think he did go with a side foot. He's obviously put too much on it. I think he didn't have to go with power. Just concentrate. Listen, it's it's bobble, It's bouncing back at him. So just concentrate on it. And just a little side foot either side of the goalkeeper. He's probably one of them as it's dropping. He's probably thinking of his celebration before he, he's put his foot through it. Nice from Job and Jack Clark. Here's Patrick Roberts. Inside the area now, Patrick Roberts! Yeah, let off, isn't it, for Coventry, and that one there for Patrick. Gets his, gets his full back into the box. Doesn't really shift it, usually just shifts it, doesn't he? Just tries, tries to play it through the, the defender. What's he saying there? Well, he wants his back shape. I mean, you can see the setup. You see Coventry set up there. We've got that front five, really, haven't we? Pressing Dan Neal and Job. High pressing. And again, Coventry giving the ball back to us. You know, sometimes our fans will say, you know, why haven't we got a plan B as such? But you're looking at Coventry now, and that's the way they play. They're playing out from the back three or four times. It's not worked. They're sticking to it. But you've got Ella Sims up there, six foot four. Why can't they, you know, just mix it up a little bit, clip a flat ball into them, pressing them quite high for the goalkeeper, just hit a low ball through the middle. And he's in here. Over the top, just as you mentioned that, Danny. Look, when Nine gets enough on it to stop him. He's run for now. He's still got it, though. It took three Sunderland players. Yeah, but there you go. So straight away, and that obviously wasn't what I was chatting about in terms of from the goalkeeper, but they clipped the ball up to Ellis Sims there. He gets in between centre-backs. Hasn't got the shot away, but he's won his team a corner, hasn't he? And what, they've had two corners, I think, to go off so far. Coventry, 20 minutes gone. A little bit of height, haven't they? The two centre backs. Obviously, Ellis Sims in there. Hadji Wright as well. Corner comes in. Oh, it's Wright who gets a great header, but it's a brilliant save for Anthony Patterson. The second one, the one. comes off Patterson again, does it? That's a fantastic double save, I think, from Anthony Patterson. We'll see it back soon. Yeah, see it back. And as, just as I said, Hadji Wright there, he got his head on the first one, didn't he? A couple of efforts for Coventry. Great challenge from Pierre Equart. Job popping it through for Jack Clark. Referee plays advantage. Sullen have a man over in Patrick Roberts. Roberts running a bit well. Goes inside. Back outside to Huggins. Couldn't find Barr. Neil does brilliantly to win it back. Floated in looking for Jack Clark. He's Job. Equa, just looking to thread it through. Yeah, He's Ballard, better from the centre backs there. Well organised, Luke just blocks him off. Ellis Sims and Dan Ballard deals with it. I haven't had a chance to look back at that double save from Anthony yeah, Patterson. Do you know what? It's flashbacks of last week, isn't it, where we were comfortable and then all of a sudden, bang, we were goal down, and that's almost the case again. Oh, just give it. We kick against Job and they take it quickly here, Coventry. Asking a lot of Sakamoto. Yeah, it's too much on it, but it's opened up now, isn't it? Coventry last few minutes and that's all come from them, going a little bit longer into Ellis Sims, getting them up the pitch. Might see that double we'll save see. now. Let's have a look at it back now. Adjurate first one. First. Header, yeah, with his foot, I think, his left foot, isn't it? And then second one drops down. So oh, hair. It's Ellis, Ellis Sims. Sims as well, yeah. Let's have a look back from this angle. First one. The second one could save with his feet, isn't it? The first one, and then... You can't see. difficult to see from that one. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't look like Ellis Sims got anything on the second one. Strange. But, yeah, give, give Anthony Patterson credit, I think. But from nothing now, isn't it, you know... Coventry really weren't in the game, and then all of a sudden they've had the two best opportunities really of the half so far. And they come again. And Newick, Sakamoto, linking up well on that right hand side. Oh. Referee's got a decision to make here. Looks like a yellow card as yeah. well coming up for Trey Hume. Just 
Showed slow. him a bit of the ball, didn't he? Sakamoto, and then Trey usually times them quite well. Doesn't make that one, though. First booking of the day. Goes to Trey Hume for this. See there, just gets away from him a couple of yards, and Trey thinks he can get the leg around him, but just toes it away from him. Be careful now, Trey Hume. The in-swinger Bidwell stood over it. Packed around that six-yard line on top of Anthony Patterson. 26 minutes played here at the Stadium of Light. I think it was the Sunderland head that got on the end of that one, so it will go for another corner. Yeah, defended that one better than the previous corner. Yeah, I think so. Pierre Echo back there gets a touch on it. Sakamoto. It goes past. Well, but I thought he'd gone past Barr, but Barr did well to show his physicality a bit there. Yeah, don't worry. We've got a switch on from the corner. They played one before, didn't they, where, where Bidwell whipped it to the far post area. It's 3v1. We've got to, got to get switched on. They've showed it us once, and then, you know, we've been wanting a couple out of the six yard box sharper. Kitching and Newick. So the battery's keeper. Oh, Collins. He's bar. Didn't go to plan. Yeah, it was good press, wasn't it, from Sunderland? Send them all the way back to, to the goalkeeper Collins, and then he duffs his clearance straight to Abdullah Bar. Couldn't make the most of it. Bidwell steps inside, then goes outside to Ellis Sims. He's got support in Callum O'Hare, but it's charged down by Dan Ballard. O'Hare, Bidwell. Huggins gets the throw. <laughs> Game's just lost its early tempo. Yeah, it was, was it five minutes or so? It looked like it was it was open, wasn't it? After they'd had a couple of opportunities ourselves on the counter attack. Just settled down again. Oh, uh, Bidwell and Roberts coming together off the ball there. Yeah. Perhaps again ended up off the pitch, didn't he? I think Bidwell just left a, a bit of an arm there for him. Thomas, Sakamoto, O'Hare. He goes into Equa, suddenly come out with it though. He's Job. It's a poor ball. Intercepted by Bidwell. Now right. He goes back to Jamie Allen. Enjoying another spell in possession here. Yes, he right, trying to dictate play, isn't he? Trying to get on the ball a little bit. Here we go. Jack Clark's looking for bye. He'll have to get there. He'll get there. He has. Huggins comes on to it. It's kind of between Equar and Job. Equar picks it up. He couldn't find Dan Neal, who was in an advanced position ahead of him. There we go now, counter-attack. Looking for Sims. Ballard stops it. Yeah, it's got to be tidier on the counter, they say. I think the first pass wasn't it in between the two players, and then drops to Pierre Echo, and he tries a threaded one, gives the ball away, and we've got good numbers forward. That's the danger then on the counter-attack. Allen, it's Kitching, 
O'Hare. The low socks and the Jack Grealish haircut. Just a bit, doesn't he? Yeah. And you right. O'Hare. Looking for support. Cut out by Huggins. Huggins looks up. Goes back. And go. Come on. Humans alive to it. And now he's Jack Clark on the far side up against Van Uyck. Yeah, the final third at the again, moment. Let yeah, and down again. Run, run him on the outside there. Sakamoto. He's tricky. He goes down. Referee not entertaining that. In fact, no one appeals for anything. So the court in possession. He's right. Yeah, just, well, he needs to wake up there, doesn't he, Pierre? I thought he's actually done well getting back in. They double up and take the ball off. Sakamoto. But he doesn't give it up. And Pierre thinks he's got all the time in the world. Dwelt on the ball. And had it taken off him. See about there now. Yeah, he's looking for a pass, but wakey wakey. The crowd give him enough of a yeah, shot. Well, yeah, and then Hadji right, and then Luke comes out and gets the block in. It's another corner for Coventry. They're fourth of the game so far. Just over half an hour played. Sims is there. I don't know what he got well, didn't it? It was almost like a line out, isn't it? Where you see him thinking, took a ride off the back of somebody, I think. It's a goal kick. Can't direct it on target. We'll see it again. In a second, maybe. Nope. This time. Anthony Patterson gives it to Dan Ballard. This is an interesting one, Danny. Well, the setup now, yeah, yeah, trying to play out, yeah. They back themselves, don't they? And well, just about got there, Niall Huggins. Slightest of nudges from Job, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's give that one, hasn't he? Yeah, in the back of uh, Jamie Allen. Coming across the pitch. He's Clark. Dan Neal's with him. Takes the defender away. Jack Clark still going. Finds Abdullah Bar. Can he get a shot away? Comes out to Equa. Again, good build-up, better from Pierre, that one, he nicks it on the halfway line on the front foot, reads it well, gets us on the counter-attack, and again, as it comes to Abdullah Bar, I'm not sure whether he's... Is he looking for that bottom corner? Plays it into the defender. Trahim gets it back from the throw, goes back to Pierre Equal. Allowed under pressure from Sims, gives it to Niall Huggins. Roberts gives him it back. It's a deep cross, kept alive by Clark. Oh. It's up in the air. It's a corner. The ball, yeah, yeah, it's good again from Niall Huggins. Link up play with Patrick. Bombing down this right hand side. And see, this time he tries to stand it up for Jack at the far post. Almost corner of the six yard box, isn't it? I thought he was going to give it back to Patrick. Look, yeah, yeah, he could have slipped him in there, but. See there, I think, and I'll say it again about Jack. Get inside the post there, and he can stand it up to the far post, and Jack can come in, get himself a goal at the far post. It's two, he's, what is he, five, ten yards past that far post? It's difficult then for him to, to get a shot on target. And I think I go back to that one with Jack Clark. He was country, wasn't it? First game of the season, was it last season? Got himself yep. a goal with a header. Comes out to Niall Huggins. Jack Clark's made himself available wide. Gets it back, though, to Huggins. Here's Hume. Hume and Huggins, the two full-backs, just passing them between them, each other. Straight offside side there. Luke O'Nine on the far side, yeah. yeah. Stayed up from the, the corner. You see Sunderland there, patient, trying to work that opening again, weren't they, rather than just throwing it back in. Almost enticing the commentary players to come out and look for that little slip ball in. But Luke just straight offside.
Van Newick goes inside. Allen robbed. Dan Neal's not giving this up. O'Hare. Huggins steals it. He's looking for a forward pass, but in the end, he's just smothered out by blue shirts. Now, oh, no, he's got some running to do here with Ellis Sims. What's a foul. Yeah, he's done really well there, Luke. He knows that Ellis Sims is on the back of him, gaining on him with the yardage, but gets his arm across him really well. I think he gets a little bit frustrated there, Ellis Sims. It's that foul, really, isn't it? He's got him in the corner there. And he lets Sunderland out cheap. Well, you know exactly what Luke's like as well. Yeah, just sit here now, he's just gaining on him. As he, if he gets the wrong side and that just bumps him, he, he's in on goal. And there, yeah, just gets across him, puts the brakes on, waits for the contact. Van Nui picks it up. Ekbar thinks about the challenge. Van Nui shows a little bit too much to Dan Neal, who does really well in the middle of the park for Sunderland. Then he finds Job. Now oh, Jack Clark. Hume's gone ahead of him, but Jack Clark will take it to the byline himself. Pulls one back. Cut out by a blue shirt. Trey Hume Straight. tries to play it in. Spinning all over. Yeah, it's, a no. it's a nasty one. So you what, it's Trey Hume, isn't it, as well? Yeah. On that yellow card. I think it's a head collision, Danny, more than, uh, you know, a second yellow yeah, for no, Trey. It's, it's, obviously, no Trey's... He's committed, isn't he? He's brave. He wants to go in there and win that. It's just as it bounces there and it sits up there, invites him to, to go and attack it. But straight away, there's one or two Coventry players that see it back now. Look, just pops up there and then it invites him in. Oh, yeah. It's no, you're right. I the think captain. It's, it's an honest challenge. It I is think. an honest challenge. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's probably a free kick to Coventry because he gets there just before Trey. I, I don't think it is a second yellow card, to be honest, and I don't think the referee. Well, there's blood on Ben Sheaf, so he might see, not be able to continue. You see Bidwell there. I think he's asking the referee. Is it a second yellow card? Maybe. No, I don't think it's a second. No, no, I, I don't think it is. No, you, you can have a, you can have contact in a football match and you can have a foul without it having to be a yellow card every time. And I think that's the case there. Listen, you can't argue with this first one on the far side. Sakamoto does him, but that one there, no, on his challenge for the ball and just a split second late, isn't he? That's all. Michael Beale getting some instruction across to his players. Mike Dodds down there as well, and Michael Proctor. Yeah. The three Michaels. I think he'd be reasonably happy with what he's seen. You know, he, we're playing the way he expects us to play. We've popped it round nice on the eye at times, but just in that final third, you know, big chance of the half, dropping to Abdullah Bar. Goal think, at his mercy, yeah. wasn't it? And blazes it over the crossbar. But just a little bit more for all the possession we've had and getting into their final third, working that goalkeeper a little bit more than what we have done. I think this is, this might be a lengthy stoppage here. There's lots of bandages and blood I can see down there. Certainly for Ben Sheaf. Can't see any blood from Trey Hume as yet, but he'll certainly have felt that challenge. So this has given a lot of people around us a chance to go and get some... Yeah, and just think, looking at Food Michael Beale there, what he's saying, I think he's happy with our setup, and he's probably saying that, you know, four or five times they are trying to play out, but you see him there saying, go, and then we go, and we've, we've nicked it, and a little bit more tempo on the on the turnovers when we do nick it around the halfway line. You know, Jack, Patrick, these types of players there, go at pace, go and attack at pace. Don't allow them to get back in. I think Trey's OK to continue. Yeah, it looks like he's took it there behind his left ear. He'll have he? to back go off. Head. For is it the 32nd concussion? Really? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but it's, it's going to be fine, isn't it? I don't think play's going to get underway. I was trying to strap up Ben Sheaf. Sheaf's come off a lot worse, hasn't he? I don't think there was any indication of being knocked out, but that's see. a nasty head injury. He might not be able it's to continue after yeah. that. Let's see if there's any changes. Well, I've got up, as you say, as well, concussion. Has he, has he been knocked out there? We're not sure, are we? But see the, the physio there having a word on his, on his mic. Oh, Coventry City captain Ben Sheaf looks like yeah, he's going to well, have to make I, way here. I'd imagine possibly Latiboudia who made way from the starting yeah. 11 in the middle of the park. Or Eccles for 28 as well. He's not happy about things, Ben Sheaf. 
referee Hume's going to cost to shake his hand. And... Chief didn't want to know. Change hasn't happened yet. Yeah, I think you see Eccles down below is getting stripped off. The 28 ready to come on. Josh Eccles, number 28. Was in the last squad. Centre midfielder. wondering if that one counts as their concussion substitution or not yeah possibly i'd imagine so yeah he was down i'd say certainly come off second best didn't he and that challenge with trey hume and if that's the case he possibly miss a couple of games now only over the christmas period so trey's had to stay off as well yeah, even when the game resumes is it right i thought yeah their lads stay down longer no 30 seconds from right. the game resuming a bit of a strange rule isn't it i know what they're trying to say in case people are play acting or trying to buy time but i think you can quite clearly see from that incident there can't you blood involved coming together so we expect about four minutes added on for that incident alone at the end of this first half still nil nil here of course at the stadium of light that man on the ball abdullah bar's come very close for sunderland not close enough though we've seen a good save Anthony Patterson as well. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Do you know what? Yeah, it is as well. You're right, Danny. Just cuts across it, zings it in, doesn't he? What is it? Middle of this, middle yeah. of the goal, six, seven yards out, and that's where touch. it zips off, doesn't it? Well, you do, but no one's going in there attacking it. That's that's the problem. You know, for a, an out and out centre forward, it's meat and drink, isn't it? They want them balls put in there. The keeper, you know, comes off his line, six, seven yards out, and gathers it. Sims, stolen by Equa, here's Job, O'Neill, Roberts, I think this hold-up play's got to be better, Ellis Sims for Coventry, you know, they haven't seen too much of the ball, they have that little five minutes spelled in, they but see it there, ball goes up to him, no real pressure, and he gives it back to Sunderland. Well, they get it back, thankfully. Goes straight back to probably frustrations in the crowd around us. Equa made sure that time. Trey Hume. Just wondering, Trey and Niall have a, a little swap, haven't they? Yeah, Fullbacks. They have. Which we have seen before. Yeah, just wondering what the thinking is behind it. I'm not too sure. I think Michael Beale, if he wants anything from this side in the first half, just taking care of those loose balls. Yeah, again, Pierre's played a few credits to him, though. He keeps asking for it. He wants to get on, and he has played a few nice passes, but he's given a few little sloppy 5, 10-yard threaded passes away. But he's not alone. There's one or two others as well, in amongst some of the good football that we have played. Clark. Great acceleration from Clark on the far offside. side. Yeah, he looked offside. Yeah. Niall Huggins, who was advanced. Yeah. I'll just have a look now. Trey's going back over, maybe after the substitute. Uh, sorry, the, the break, wasn't it? Really had to wait on the touchline. Yeah. Niall went over to that far side. Kitching plays a forward, looking for Ellis Sims. Luke nine is there, though, to cut it out. It goes back to a blue shirt. Bidwell gets Ooh, around Nile Huggins and puts it back. And Nye does well. Luke O'Neill's been excellent first half, by the way. Here's Patrick Roberts. Can he be excellent at the other end? Just couldn't find the ball through to Abdullah Bar. Four minutes added on. Which is the exact amount of time we had the stoppage for for the injury to Trey Hume and Ben Sheaf. Oh, nine oh. and right coming together. That looks like oh, referees played on. O'Hare. 
Oh, he's pulled it across. It's gone in. It's gone, it's in. gone in. It's Sakamoto. Yeah. It squeezes in. Yeah, and a bit of a mess, wasn't it? I think I know I've just said as well, Luke's been excellent first half, but he just gets rolled on this right-hand side, a little bit keen, trying to nick it. I expected the referee to bring it back Well, yeah, that. but he, he, do you know what? He plays a good advantage on Coventry's behalf, doesn't he? And they're getting down this left-hand side. And right on half-time. Well, it's the best time to score. Done. It's the worst time to concede. Let's just see it back now on the monitor. Yeah, you see Luke there, he gets tight with Hadji Wright and he gets rolled inside and he could have given the free kick, but O'Hare doesn't give it up. Makes his way into the box, doesn't he? That's your hero up. Sakamoto. Then, oh, oh, it's a deflection you know off Trey Hume. He plays it into Trey Hume and it pops back off him. We can do a little bit more getting back in. Here now, I think Pierre Ecuar comes across. Keep him down the line, it allows him back inside. And then Sakamoto, yeah, it's not a great strike. Trey gets the block in and then it just pops back off. Sakamoto drops in that far corner. There's a little bit of luck about that, isn't there? Well, yeah, there's a lot of luck in, involved in it, yeah, but... <sighs> right on half-time as well. And from a Sunderland perspective yeah. as well, it's a little bit of their own doing as well, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Extent. yeah, of course there is as well, yeah. We've been a little bit sloppy in the lead-up to the goal as well, on the ball. But, yeah, and I think, as I said, Luke, I think, has been excellent in this first half. Used the ball really well, defended well, but he just got too tight to, to Hadji Wright. Tried to nick in front of him. It's Coventry who've got the tails up at the moment. Sakamoto, the goal scorer, shoots, takes oh. a deflection, and that's gone wide corner ball. for a corner. Yeah, I think it's off Dan Ballard, gets the block on it. See Sakamoto coming inside on that left foot. Decent strike, isn't it? See, it opens up for him. Laces through it, and then Dan Ballard, yeah. Up and over the top. I think it is going from that angle there, just past that right hand side post as we look at it. Packed in that six yard box again on top of Anthony Patterson. Yeah, referee's got a close eye, he's brought it back. Yeah, yeah. I thought he might have done that. It's kitching. Yeah, just look, look at the setup though. We've sent we've sent another one out. Patrick Roberts has come out of the middle to help Abdullah Bar on the short corner. Sakamoto out there, Bidwell's waiting as well. Edge of the box. Thomas. And on nine. Speaking to the referee. Matthew Donahue. Do now. Somebody's gone down by it. Anthony Patterson. Let's have a look. The cards come out for Anthony Patterson, I think. Let's have a look. A Luco nine, maybe. He was involved, wasn't he? He's walked away. So he's one of them as well, isn't it, with the ref? And he's, he's already had a look at it. He's warned one or two players, and he's keeping a. An eagle eye on it in there, seeing what's going on. Was it Luke 9 who was booked there then? I'm not seeing on the replay, are we? We'll get that confirmed at half time. Meanwhile, Sunderland still have to defend this corner. It's a bit of rain comes down here at the Stadium of Light. Patterson comes, does he get something on it? Well, it goes away from goal. Sunderland throw on the far side. Yeah, Michael Beale want to get him in now at half time, only regroup. Go again, second 45 minutes. The rain's coming down quite heavy now inside this stadium of light. Don't think we were anticipating any of that this afternoon, but. Well, it was blowing a gale, wasn't it, on, the, yeah. on our way into the stadium? Uh, referee's seen enough in the first half. And something go in. 
after the first 45 under Michael Beale, a goal down, Danny. They do, yeah, and a few boos there. I'm not sure whether it's aimed at who, I'm not sure, but I think the referee's done OK. But, yeah, disappointed again. We've been here before, haven't we? Good control on the game, some, some good play at times, link-up play, had the opportunities. Big, big chance for Abdullah to put us a goal up. You know, goal at his mercy, blazed it over the crossbar, and we were quite comfortable. And then they came into the game a little bit contrary, one or two opportunities, and then, yeah, right on half-time, we get caught. Caught on the counter-attack, don't defend it well enough. And we're a goal down, so all to do in that second half. No changes for either side at half-time. Michael Beale in deep discussion with his coaches, though. It's all interesting, isn't it? We're all new to Michael Beale and his his ways. Well, as that as well, and obviously he's, he's tapping into obviously Mike Dodds and, and Mike Proctor because they they know the lads, you know, for the last couple of seasons, in and around it. He'll obviously have his own ideas as well and see things. Maybe have a look behind him on his bench, and he might, you know, fancy bringing on somebody different to who they recommend. So it's having that communication, and you know, at the end of the day, he's the one who's in charge on the touchline. He, he calls, you know, pulls Rankin away really and makes the changes what he feels. Sakamoto receives it. He's the goal scorer this afternoon so far. A new it chased by Abdullah Bart. Yeah, I think just a bit of energy as well. First five, ten minutes of this second half. You know, try and get after Coventry. Oh, that's nice from Patrick Roberts. Through the legs. Still going, Patrick Roberts. Bar. Brings in Trey Hume. Jack Clark's with him. Clark stands right up. Stan Neal, who was lurking yeah. round the back. Bidwell does really well at the far post to say. Dan Neal coming in behind him. Yep. And it's a good start. Lovely little nutmegs from Patrick, wasn't it? Ball's played in towards the front post. Sakamoto gets his head on it. His job. Yeah, another one there. You see what he's looking for, Ellis. Isn't he just trying to cushion it to, to Hadji Wright? But I'm sure Mark Robbins is thinking, just get hold of it for us. You know, start the setting off. Spent the first minute or so in our half. Get hold of the ball for us so we can get up the pitch. So I get the throw on the far side. Many people still making their way back to their seats here. Equal. Job. Say Coventry got that goal now. You see him set up in that sheep. I'd expect a lot of this second half to be like this. Almost a 4 5 1, really, isn't it? Ellis seems leading the line. Clark gets away from he's Sakamoto. In, in. Oh. Huggins has gone down. Clark continued his run. Bar. Oh, I feel the Sunderland players thought it was a foul. Yeah, you know, as, as Jack Clark's travelling across the pitch there, was it Huggins? Was it Huggins? Yeah, yeah I think he could have slipped him in there and he goes down Niall Huggins, doesn't he? Defender's wrong side. Again, we'll see it back in a moment, but he could have slipped him in there, Jack. Here's Dan Neal. Stands strong. Finds Trey Hume. Equa. Job. It was a hard ball to get a hold yeah, of, to be fair to Joe. It was just a yard to the side of Joe Bellingham, wasn't it? Ballard and Sims coming together. I'm just thinking, maybe them two, did they play together at Blackpool? I think Ellis Sims had a spell at Blackpool as well, didn't yeah, he? Probably did, I think. Huggins, gives it to Roberts. Roberts gets away from right. A little bit of a pullback, maybe. Yeah, he's after it. Patrick's not given. Linesman on that far side as well. 
Ekwar winning it back against Adji Wright and suddenly get a free kick. Yeah. yeah. A bright, bright start from Sunderland. See, they're at it. Good tempo, moving the ball well. So we've got to keep it up now. Don't let Coventry sit on this one goal lead, sitting deep, and it becomes pedestrian. The ball, keep the ball speed in the in the plate. Job finds Trey Hume. Dan Neal now. Here's Roberts. Running a bid well, comes inside. Barr gives it back to Roberts. Can he get a shot away? He thinks about it. Plays the ball through to Job. Gives it back to Jack Clark. Oh. Couldn't get the power. Well, yeah, worked it really well to Jack. And it's what is he? Eight, ten yards out. Goes for the side foot. Doesn't he goes to try and place it, but fortunately places it straight in the goalkeeper's hands. Again, Patrick, good build-up play. Lends it into Abdullah Barr, and you see there, little reverse into Job. Sets it. Yeah. Not enough power on it or direction from Jack. Equant. Ballard. Skips Don't. away from his man, Overload. puts it over for Jack Clark, puts it on his right, puts it back across. Oh. Job with the shot, oh. he didn't really get a hold of it. No, and again worked it really, really well up the pitch, Sunderland, and it's almost 4v2, isn't it? Things it sees, it comes out to Jack, just gets away from him slightly, and oh, body's back there for, for Coventry again. Coventry steal it. Make way on the far side with Wright. O'Hare's with him. Bidwell floats one in. Ekwa gets something on it. Drops to Eccles. Barr gets it back and starts an attack for Sunderland. He's Roberts. Still going Patrick Roberts. He goes down. I've got it. Job. I don't think there was enough in that for the penalty, Danny. I thought that was his moment, Patrick Roberts. Yeah, he went past the couple, didn't he? Like they weren't there. And then he just tries to chop back onto his weaker right foot, really. Let's have a look at it back now. There he goes past centre back. Pitching. Chops. Oh, left a trailing leg there, didn't he? Not too many appealing, though. What do you think? I think he goes down maybe too easily Looking and that it, makes yeah. a decision for the referee. I don't know. Let's have a look now, yeah, because he goes for the block and he just leaves his, his back leg there, doesn't he? I've seen it now. It's a shot from Job. It's almost yeah. getting the blocking on that one. If that one's given against you, the, uh, the Roberts one, you feel it was soft. Yeah, oh, there you go. Keeper's getting booked for time wasting. Set it all out there, the referee. Bradley Collins becomes the first Coventry player in the book. It's another big attendance inside the Stadium of Light this afternoon. We'll announce that soon. As well, Hamp brings it forward. Challenge from Job, Sakamoto floats one in. Oh, nine had to get there because Ellis Sims was behind him. Trey Hume pops it forward, looking for Job. Allen plays it forward for Coventry. Trey Hume gets involved. 
for Sunderland. Sims keeps it alive for Comtry. It's gone back and forth yeah, at the again, moment. Lively now, isn't it? Comtry having a go. Right. Stretching challenge from Niall Huggins. Niall Huggins leads to another corner for Coventry. It's not often, often Sunderland are outnumbered on the, the corner ways, count. Yeah. The sixth. They're going to be in no hurry to take this either. Yeah, going across there. Fans are going to let the referee know, aren't they? I say we've had two or two or three good opportunities on the counter attack, haven't we? So far, at the start of this second half. Oh, it falls right Ooh. under the head almost of Burley Ryder. If it wasn't for Trey Hume and his quick thinking, he would have been in. Just yeah, pulls just it off the up, head. Yeah, as you say, how you write, wasn't it coming in? And he's having a little laugh about it. Watch this. I think the first one just hits Trey and pops up. Excellent. While you're watching head. this replay, they've given it away. And Eccles comes forward with it. Bar trying to get in there and steal it. It's the blue shirts of Coventry who have possession. Van Uyck. Dan Neal. Jack Clark. Dispossessed. Trying to get it back though. Oh, Thomas is doing well there. And finally gets a free kick as well. As much as Dan Neal comes across to get the ball. Yeah, he'd done well in the end. Thomas wriggled out, didn't he? Ball stuck under his feet on the touchline up against Jack Clark. And they say sometimes, you know, it'll suit Sunderland again. Said at the start of the second half there, if they're going to sit in deep and we'll have all the ball in front of them, they'll be happy with that. But if they sense that, you know, maybe we can go and try and get that second goal and if we can nick it on the counter attack, which we've seen already, we're going to get opportunities. in there. Neil to Jack Clark. Roberts. Huggins is outside him. Play it in. Stopped. He'll go again. And from Thomas. Equa, can he get there? He does. Offside. Flags up. Yeah, it just goes a little bit early. Good line from Coventry. He's had three or four of those, hasn't he? Niall Huggins does really well, gets on the overlap, bombing past Patrick Roberts, but then by the time he's pulling it into the six-yard box, four or five sky blue shirts in the middle, can't pick a Sunderland shirt out. Van Newick pops it over the top of Trey Hume and Dan Ballard's going to have to tidy up. Nice from Sunderland. Yeah, gone are the days, aren't they, where the big centre-back comes across and just puts it into row F. Handle the ball in tight areas these days. Of John. Yeah, it was a lovely ball from Dan Ballard into Joe. Just found a little pocket of space. Unfortunately, just got stuck in it off his heel. Sakamoto goes inside. Joking up for him. He's gone for it. 
Yeah, he fancies that one, doesn't he? Coming in off this right-hand side on his left foot. He must be capable, because he's... I think O'Hare's done quite well as well. Yeah, on the he has. He's been busy, hasn't he, getting across the pitch, coming out that middle slot, trying to get Coventry up the pitch. And there, it opens up again, similar to the one in the first half, wasn't it? Towards the end of the half. Clark. Nine. Huggins. Bart. And Neil asking for some support there when he was on the ball. Jack Clark. He's onside. Gets the back of Trey Hume. Roberts. Here's Job. Roberts wants it back. And again. Equa. Trying to find Trey Hume. Opportunity in the first half. Jack Clark drops his shoulder. Foul Once again. Foul. Yeah, he's asking the question there, isn't he? Eccles, I think it is, isn't it? Comes across and just looks like Jack shaping up to, to pull the trigger. So he skips inside Sakamoto. And there. That's a little clip, isn't it? Good position for the right footer. Is it? I wonder if this is in shooting territory. It's a bit wide, but... I think distance-wise, it's up and over, isn't it? I think the goalkeeper will say, can you? Can you, or do you fancy beat me in the near post, up yeah, and over the wall? Post, yeah. It's only Alex Pritchard will fancy center, this one. Yeah, I'm going to say the centre-offs have gone forward as well. I think Dan Ballard's in there. Would you just clip it in? Overload at the far post. I think maybe Patrick, isn't it, with the left one there? Yep. Yeah. In that little corridor just over the top of the referee now. Looking for Dan Ballard, maybe. Job in there as well. That's what they're having a chat about, Jack Clark and Patrick Roberts. Nope. Clark. Oh, it's kind of caught between yeah, the shot and the cross. Sets it out too far, doesn't he? I'm not sure, is he looking there? Is he looking and gesturing, you know, for somebody to get across yeah, it? I think, I think that's what it Well, there's far too much pace on it for a, for a start, isn't it? And I think... Yeah, they're never getting in there with it. It's an in-swinger as well, isn't it? Going away from the, the lads coming onto it. Alan. We only had one change in the match so far, and that was because of Ben Sheaf's head injury. Over the hour mark now. Jack Clark plays in Job. Good movement from him. Clark just above bar. Thought Echo had caught Sims there. No, I think he's pulled okay. out just short. Yeah. O'Hare. Up against Trey Hume. Coventry Thorpe taken quickly. Ballard comes across. Clark. It's nice from Sunderland. If Job can ride the challenge, he does. Doesn't stick with Bar, but he wrestles it back. Yeah, he's been better in the second half, Abdullah Bar. He's had a couple of good runs. Oh, it's a foul. Yes. Bidwell sees a yellow. Yeah, a little dummy from Patrick Roberts. Bidwell, just a little pull back at him. Second Coventry player in the book. Joins the goalkeeper.
Huggins. Or Nyan. Dan Neal brings it across. Dan Ballard. Ballard just waiting for those gaps. Gives it out left to Jack Clark, who advances with the ball. He's now inside the area, pulls it back, finds Trey Hume. Can he get a shot away? Trey Hume! It's charged down. Job back to Equa. Good take. Dan Neal. Hume forced wide, finds Roberts. Roberts oh, hits Kitching and goes out for a yeah, corner. Well, just won't quite sit well, it'll drop for somebody waiting to pull the trigger. And it is difficult. They've got ten. Yeah, I counted eight blue shirts yeah, on that say, on the edge of the penalty yeah, area there. Ellis Sims the only one, isn't it? I was gonna say ten commentary players in in the box there. Well, this is similar to the good spell Sunderland had in the first half. Where's it gonna drop? Ballard. Comes to no one. It's just not dropping. Floated in by Ekwa, looking for Dan Ballard, who's remained forward. Difficult one for him, though. Backpedaling, yeah. just at the top of his jump there. Oh, crowded. I've seen this time wasting going on, but something could have gone. God, it's. Well, I was going to say, yeah, it's not a dead ball situation, was it? So. Keepers within his rights to stand there with it at his feet. Ballard, brave, comes across with the head, but that leaves Sunderland a little bit open at the back. And now he's had you right on that far left-hand side. Pulls it back. Oh, here shoots, and oh. it's 2-0! Yeah. Punished, aren't we? I think it's an awkward one, similar to the first half. Obviously, Luke comes out to this right-back there. Dan Ballard goes in, wins the head, and then he's out mm. of his slot. And then on that far side... Is it Niall can't quite cut it out, and then we're all over the show. It's a lovely finish from O'Hare, by the way. I said he's been quite bright for them coming into the does. starting he's, 11. His goals in the game earlier this season were very similar. But we've still got decent numbers back in there, to be fair. You see, it goes out wide to Hadji Wright, and then Pierre Equal, look. Yeah, again, like I said, it up against O'Hare, wasn't he, for the first one there. Breaks on, got to get the breaks on. And then just to, can't shift his feet. Too easy, far too easy. It's going to be a triple change in a moment as well for Coventry, who will want to wrap it up. 2-0 up, well, deep into the second half. minutes to go. Mountains are climbed now for Sunderland as well. We've some bright spells, haven't we, in this second half? Right, let's keep an eye on these. It looks like Casey Palmer's going to come on. Well, that's the goal scorer going off, isn't it? Not a bad way to sign off. Next one is Allen, Jamie Allen, who come into this side as well this afternoon. He's coming on for him. Is it Latiboudier? Yeah, Latiboudier is coming on there, straight swap in the middle of the park. And then the other one's going to be the silver as well. So the silver naturally a left back, left wing back. Change the setup possibly. Lads, still a long time to go. They've got to get their heads up and go again. I say we're having some good spells in this second half. One or two good opportunities. Well, there is movement on the Sunderland bench now. They were Coventry's fourth in total substitution there. Sunderland haven't made any yet. But Adil Aushish, I think, is stripped down there, Danny. Yeah, it's that time, isn't it, now? I think she Bruce coming back in as well, one or two others, but... Well, it comes across, Palmer keeps it alive for Coventry. Yeah, it is Adil Alshish who's stripped to come on for Sunderland.
Palmer. Still going, Palmer. Puts it across. Pass and spills. Danger for Sunderland. It's Great. three nil. Well, that one nowhere. Three nil down. And as you say, Palmer off the bench. Again, Coventry getting in down that left hand side. Bodies back there as well. We're not defending. Anywhere near good enough. So I think Anthony Patterson spills it. Just an empty goal for Casey Palmer to put the ball in here. Now throw in, let's have a look. Now Huggins has a nibble at it, gets rolled on the touchline. Ball comes across, yeah, Anthony Patterson's a bad mistake, isn't it? Just fumbles it. And that signals the sign for a lot of Sunderland fans to leave the stadium alight. And you'd think that would pretty much be game over. Who's ringing out the Stadium of Light? Cylinder preparing to make two substitutions. She is inside the Stadium of Light. So Aushish comes on for Sunderland. So does Eliza Mayenda. Yeah, I think he's getting those subs ready to come on, isn't he? At 2 0 as well. And you're thinking, you know, can they come on and impact, get us back into it? And all of a sudden, another one's in the back of the net. Clark wins it back for Sunderland, but then is dispossessed. Sunderland have to be careful here, they keep their heads. Free kick against Sunderland, that, I was worried that was going to happen there, Danny. They'll yeah, be frustrated Jack, out there, won't they? Yeah, he's trying to win the ball back, wasn't he? Just a, a little clip on Eccles' his heels. Yeah, as you say, it's a good test for them now, isn't it? It's obviously a bit hostile in the stadium. Still 20 minutes to go. I think everyone's a bit shell-shocked after the last 10 minutes or so, Danny. Yeah, strange one, isn't it? Obviously, smash and grab as such, like, but we were comfortable setting off, thought we were actually playing some good stuff. But we've said this too many times, haven't we, so far this season for Sunderland? We're good on the eye, we play some really good football, but that killer instinct, top end of the pitch, got to put the ball in the back of the net when you're on top. Sakamoto now gives it back to Palmer, who scored since coming off the bench. Trey Hume gets it back for Sunderland. Job knocks it back to Dan Ballard. Siobhan Job, Sunderland get the decision this time. Yeah, he's come through the back of Job, Thomas. hasn't he? And he's took one himself, I think, Thomas in the face. Thomas stays down after fouling Job. Yeah, I think Job just tries to get his arm across him, you see it back now. The one thing Job has done well for us, he's the one that's willing to run in behind, isn't he? Trying to drag the centre-backs out of the middle. Thomas not happy that he's took one in the face, but I'm sure he gives a few as well as big centre back. Yeah, he has. He's got a bloody nose for his efforts. Yeah, the atmosphere has definitely turned inside the stadium light after that second and third goal. The crowd were with the side from kickoff. Like I say, Danny Sunderland have had good possession in this game, and they have some now. Roberts dances his way into the area, still going, but then is dispossessed. Sunderland have to be careful on the counter once again. I 
It's difficult, even Patrick dribbling into the box there, you know, blue shirt swarming round him, 3-4. Difficult for him to, to find a route through. Sakamoto still going, plays it across, Palmer can't get past O'Neill. Right. Bidwell. It's just frustrating, Danny. This is not a 3 0 game to the opposition, is it? On the no, stats no, what we've no, seen this that, afternoon. That is the frustrating thing, yeah. It's not as if we've had 25% of the ball. We've been pegged into we've our own stuffed. box. We've been battered, yeah. yeah. Shot after shot, is it? That's, that is the frustrating thing but for, you know, 40-odd thousand Sunderland fans in here. And ultimately, what, it's the last game, isn't it, going into into Christmas? And those clear-cut chances as well. There hasn't been that many. Can my hand again on the end of this one and maybe create one? No, but they've been ruthless, haven't they, and punished us. The opportunities, you, listen, you, we always debrief the goals and have a look through them but we could have defended the goals better of course we could Coventry City were 16th before the ball was kicked this afternoon we'll debate it of course in the post game programme we'll take it on the chin we've got to front this one out as we always do Danny have your say as well use the hashtag ask Danny on social media and we'll go through what your thoughts are about today's performance. I'm sure you've got a lot to say about it around the world. Sakamoto, he's been relentless, hasn't he, at times? Yeah, he keeps on going, doesn't he, down this right-hand side. Got himself a goal, obviously a little bit fortunate, wasn't he? Come back off him, but... Put Coventry in front. Held on for 10, 15 minutes at the start of the second half, where you're thinking, right, we're going to get one yeah, here, can we like kick on, and then time, all of a sudden... Bang, bang, and we're done. Now, I can run all the way through to Jack Clark here. Clark plays the cross. Bricks for Patrick Roberts. Clark, Roberts, oh no, slice from yeah. Adil Aushish. Well, there we go again, it sums us up, doesn't it? Good play again, Jack Clark and Patrick Roberts involved and it just pops up, doesn't it, for Aushish off the bench. There you go, Patrick just feeds into him, pops it up and Assi six quite nice on the half volley, just slices across it, doesn't he? And that's the difference, this moment in time, for all the good play we've had. Putting the ball in the back of the net, hardest job in football, and we're finding it hard at this moment in time. Roberts. Still going, and still going. Finds Mayen there with a shot. Wide. Yeah, again, Patrick, I think Patrick's been good again today. Driving runs, going past people like they're not there. It's a strange one, this. I think Mayen, does he play off his standing foot? It seems to spin and loop up over the bar. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it does. Doesn't catch it right, does he? Again, Patrick, two, three, four. And then touches just behind him slightly as well. Has to, to reach around the ball. with intent and inside the area Jack Clark goes down no penalty no I don't, I don't think so it just didn't open up for him did it it's a 
Good run again from Jack driving in there. He never stops going, does he? See it back now. Look, three shirts around him. And then, no, I think 28 plays the ball, doesn't he? Just Eccles. toes it away from him. Eccles, yep. Still over 10 minutes plus stoppage time to play in this game. Oh, sheesh. We've got to keep going on the pitch, though, haven't they, Danny? Got to keep on going. It's all you can do, yeah. You know, it's difficult. Been here myself, and, you know, scoreboard like that when you're getting beat at home in front of your, your fans. Christmas period. You know, upset a few going into Christmas Day now, and we won't enjoy their, their Christmas roast as much as they perhaps would have done. But, yeah, you've got to keep on going. Clock's still ticking, 10 minutes plus to go. Oh, Niall Huggins has gone down here. Oh, then Sunderland's afternoon oh, might no. be getting worse That's here. It's his knee. Holding his left knee. Doesn't look good. Dan Neal signalling straight away to the bench. Forty-one thousand two hundred and sixteen. Just keep an eye on Niall Huggins yeah, here. Drives inside, doesn't it? Is it clashing knees? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh no. Yeah, that wasn't nice, was it? Just his foot goes into the turf and it buckles his knee. Yeah, Niall Huggins, and obviously he's had his injury issues over the last year or so, hasn't he? But I think he's been excellent since he's been back playing regular football. Hopefully he's OK there, but it didn't look good. No, this would... Really sum up Sunderland's afternoon here. An expected crowd. You know, a new era with a new well, first I was just team coach. Say, Michael Beale there, how does he debrief this one later on with the press? And, you know, well, I actually think we played quite well. But look at that score line there. But it's one of those, again, you say it as a coach, and obviously will say it as well, you can't dwell on it too long. Oh, well, the um, oxygen's coming out here for Niall Huggins. This is not nice. Yeah, you've got to choke this one off now, haven't we? Got ready, was it, Boxing Day now, go again. Well, that's it, it's only a couple of days until we go again. Quick turnaround, yeah. And then we go on Friday evening as well against Rotherham, so we've got Hull on Boxing Day, 3 p.m. kickoff here Hull on right SCFC next to us Live. The table, yeah. Yep. Thoughts with Niall Huggins as he's receiving, it looks like oxygen on the far side. Something will be made, forced into another change. I think Jensen Seal looks like he's getting stripped off. Yeah. Yeah, and I thought it was just a uh, coming together on the first one yeah, when he cut inside so the silver, but then his, his, his foot, didn't it? And his, his, his knee ran to the left-hand side, yeah, just buckled his, his left knee under him. As I say, shame, I think he's been in excellent form. Niall really enjoyed his performances, full of energy, driving up the pitch again this afternoon. I think he's been well... You know, maybe the third goal, wasn't it? He got done on the touchline, but other than that, I think he's been he's been decent this afternoon. Well, that Macam Santa won't be very happy about what he saw this afternoon. Maybe he can deliver us three points on Christmas Day. It's more concern for Niall Huggins here. More coaching staff make their way over to try and help out. The crowd has gone almost silent inside the Stadium of Light. The shell shock from the second and third goal still, Danny. Yeah, it does. It takes the stuffing out of the, not just the players, as you said there, but obviously the, the fans as well, because they can sense it. I thought we were, we were in control, really, in, in the second half. You know, we looked like, right, we're going to go and get a goal now. Can we get that level? Then can we go and kick on and, and try and get a winner? And then out of nowhere, it's all it takes in football, isn't it? You get caught on the counter-attack. They punished us ruthless in front of goal. You know, decent finish from O'Hare. And then Casey Palmer wraps it up for Coventry. Still quite a lot of football to be played in this game, and it was 41,216 in at the beginning of the, the match. There's not many left now. But those who are, are applauding Niall Huggins, who is stretching off. Yes, yeah, not, not a great sight. It's not, no. We wish him all the best, don't you, as well, a couple of days before Christmas. His family. Well, let's hope it's not as bad as things look because he's took a while to get back into regular football. Does Coventry make another change? Matty Godden's going to come on. So, had you right.
Now, I make that Coventry's fifth substitution, unless the concussion one you're thinking Ben may have been replaced as a concussion substitution. Yeah, and just as we said didn't I, before the game as well, um, you know, obviously, lads coming back out of the treatment room, all of a sudden, Alex Pritchard not in the squad today, and then Niall looks like he could be out now for a while. Everyone at Sunderland, including the fans around the world, wish Niall Huggins their best. Like I say, Dan, he's been a great player this season. Well, he has, yeah, because, you, know, you know, I've said it before, I spoke to him a few times, I've had him in training sessions with the last season with the 18s, and he's, you know, obviously, he's heads down, he's, he's frustrated, injury after injury. When you're out for a while, you tend to, you know, you're recovering from one, then you may pick up another one. But he's got himself fit, he's had a good pre-season, he's been playing regular football this season, he's always been one of our best players this season. So, yeah, you, you wish him well, don't you? You want to see him back out there as soon as he is fit and ready to go again. Jack Clark. Can't get past Sakamoto. to stay strong and... Yeah, do you know what? He's a full-back stream, isn't he, Sakamoto, for yeah. a wing, and he helps back, and you let him get on with his job, and he... Graphs hard. Keeps going, yeah, helping out there on Jack Clark again. Oh, sheesh, delivers a cross. And it goes over from Jensen Silt. Yeah, corner. He just gets there, doesn't he, and then comes off the man behind him. Let's have a look. Yeah, comes off yeah. Kitching. Yeah. Just under four minutes left of normal time. There'll be some added time for that injury and all the subs we've seen in the second half. Silva takes it. Sakamoto's over on that flank at the moment. Gives it to De Silva. This is his normal Big position. Switch. Big onside. switch. And Matty Godin is onside. Palmer, they've got a man over as well if they can find him, Coventry. Luckily, Sunderland take it back. She's just squeezed off the ball. Coventry's grip on the game continues. Tell us where Sunderland have gone wrong this afternoon. Get in touch. Use the hashtag. Ask Danny on X. Tell us what's gone wrong. I think, do you know who else will come off the pitch as well, thinking what's going on there? Michelle's got Dan Ballard. I think Dan Ballard's been excellent again in this afternoon. You know, composure at times, defended really well. And, you know, along well, particularly with these... in the first half, there were some brilliant performances along that back line, wasn't there? Yeah, we said about Luke as well, didn't we? And then, obviously, for the first one, he gets a little bit too keen. Dan Neal's getting a yellow card here. Must have been on the last chance, because there wasn't much in that. Enough in this for a yellow card? Let's have a look there, does he? he stands that's on Palmer's foot. Surely that's not a booking for that, no. Yeah, that's what you got for. Trying to get it back, but they can't. And Bidwell brings it forward for Coventry. Bidwell, nearly the entire length of the pitch, and he's still going. Stopped. Sunderland throw on the far side. Yeah, you know, that's a good tackle from Dan Neal. He had to time that. He just picked up that yellow card, didn't he, a moment or two ago.
Coventry corner. Yeah, happy run the clock down now, Coventry, on they? Game's done. You always asked me, didn't you, as a, as a former player, what was it like? Could you enjoy your Christmas dinner and relax? Well, you ask these lads now, are they going to enjoy it? The Sunderland players. Seven minutes will be added on. Fans booing the additional time. They're frustrated this afternoon. There's no getting around that. And we'll discuss the key moments in the game in the post-game programme. Sakamoto pulls it out of the air unchallenged. Van Uyck. Ballard gets it back for Sunderland. Oh, nine struggling in the middle of the pitch here. I'm just thinking fullbacks as well. Obviously, if, if Niles going to be out, obviously Jensen Seals come on today. I think Dennis is back training. I think Adji Elise has been back out there as well, didn't he? And I think he'd come on in the week as well. Had a run out. Well, Pembele actually. Pembele as, as well. well, he did, you're right, yeah. So there's options there now for Michael Beale. Job. Runs out of steam. He's Palmer. Trying to get away from Dan Neal. Oh, Sheesh. Country clear it though. Jack Clark. Trying to get around Van Newick. Palmer's underneath this one. Too much on that. Southern throw. Minutes tick by. Two away wins as well, Coventry in 11 before today. Well, I guess a good thing as well, Danny, there's something to have a chance in a couple of days to try and put things right. It's always good to get it out of your system, isn't it? Yeah. Join us for that one here on SFC Live. You said the stat about Coventry there, Danny, but... You know, they haven't been dominant in this game, have they? No, no, not at all, no. I mean, you can look at other games up here, what we've lost. So, Huddersfield, similar, wasn't it? Got yeah. caught on the counter-attack. Uh, Co uh, Cardiff, sorry, smash and grab late on header, wasn't it? I think of late goal we conceded. Middles were one. It's a red card, but it has a similar yeah. kind of a collapse yeah. vibe to it. Yeah, it does, yeah, extent. you're right. This, this is probably the worst of the defeats for me this season, not just the scoreline, but, you know, in the manner, as you say there, we've had good control of the game, really, haven't we? And it's just... Our confusion then. The counter. Bidwell gets his... Some of the fans increasingly frustrated around us. Shot comes in. Roberts kicks the goalposts. Yeah, frustration. frustration again, Patrick. And he's another one, I said it early on, but just look at him, a build-up play, you know, goes to Silver off the bench there, looks like he's treading in treacle, goes past him, Bidwell cuts inside, and then just Patrick, isn't it, in front of goal, and he just got, can't get one to go in, he just needs the one to go in off a little deflection or something, get him up and running, really. A couple of opportunities last week at Bristol City as well. Here's Roberts again. Job. Final ten seconds have added... No, sorry, it's seven minutes, isn't there? Seven four. minutes, gone, yeah. It's the first half. It's like Luke O'Neill, as you say, struggling as yeah, well, isn't something, he? something up with Luke. I didn't see any coming together, so maybe he stumbled and injured himself. He's struggling to walk out of your picture. So if it was a one-on-one -on -one with Godin, which could happen here. Well, thankfully, he's been brought back for a free kick.
Robert. Now Sheesh puts one in. Goes for himself. Comes off the keeper and goes out for Sunderland corner. There's another one, Oshish. He always tries to get into a game, doesn't he? Yeah, he always gets a shot yeah, on target as well. Yeah, two opportunities a game, similar to Joe, isn't he? Too deep. Yeah, one of them now. Still, what, a minute and a bit to go. But both teams are happy if the referee blows his whistle. Game's gone. Country delighted. Away day for them. Three points in the bag. Get back on the coach for ourselves. Probably be back in tomorrow morning, I'd imagine. Debrief it. Then focus on the whole game. Sheesh, Meander trying to wriggle free, outnumbered. God, it almost got in there. He didn't. I just think there, because Luke does Luke get a big shout off Anthony Patterson? He can see it. Uh, oh, nice, so struggling, really yeah, struggling, struggling, though. Yeah, even so walk. looks like another one. Let's just say with another game coming up, sh sharpish. Is he going to be okay? If the ball gets through to God in here, almost yeah. So you've got Seal, haven't you? Triantis, centre backs. Sheesh working hard again. And there we go. Those booze ring out around the yeah, state of the line, around, Yeah, well, possibly performance, I'm not sure. But anyway, listen, yeah, we were in the game, well, certainly till after half time, weren't we? And we thought, we'd, can we get back into this now? Pushing on. And then all of a sudden, those two goals took the game away from us. So, yeah, disappointing start, isn't it, for Michael Beale? His first game in charge. All he's got to do now is get the lads going again. Quick turnaround, as we just mentioned there. Dust it off. And can we bounce back against the whole side of it in and amongst it with us?